old lamps. This is some kind of an old uh, orange crusher. This is a uh, Christmas tree holder. Motorcycle helmets, fans, clocks, radios, more clocks. This area is stuff that I think might make a good head. See, there's a, that's just screams robot. I found this sucker. This is apparently off of a helicopter engine. It reminds me of uh, the robot from Futurama. That looks like a robot's head. Two ways. That could be Cyclops' head or, or this way. Uh, these are off of an old Ford. I think it's some kind of an oil cap. I don't really know. There's an old toaster. But I, when I saw this, I saw two eyes and a mouth. Or you could turn it this way, and that's sort of like two eye shapes. Or you could open it up, and that could be some kind of a robot dog with a mouth. So you start collecting junk, and then put it somewhere and look at it. And eventually, you'll have some inspiration for how to build a character out of it. Today, I think I like this shape. This is from when you buy, when you get a, a tank of compressed air in a big cylinder tank like you use for welding. They put this over the valve to protect it from being knocked because if you knock it, it could explode. But for me, that's a, a Cyclops, and I'm going to set that aside. I like this shape. And I have a feeling it's going to fit pretty well because these are kind of a similar size cylinder, cylinder, cylinder shape. And what do you know, it's meant to be. Sometimes you pull something off and it's perfect. So I'm going to just set those aside. That already looks like a robot. That took me five minutes. But we're going to go a lot more in depth with, with building this character. But all you really need is a body shape and some legs and a head and already it feels like it's a some sort of character that's got some personality so I think he's gonna need arms let's look for some arms I have a shape in here I think this is a perfect shape because it's got a joint and that already reminds you of an elbow and I think I have yes I have two so these are these are gonna be perfect for arms because they're poseable and they have a joint, so I'm going to set those aside. Um, Feet-wise, I already like the way this looks with the legs. And this is what I was thinking of. I've used these in my art before. This is, uh, if you're a CG artist, you'll recognize this as the stylus holder that comes with certain drawing tablets. But I made a mold of this, and let's see if I have three. I'm going to see how this works. That looks like it's going to work okay. Yep, perfect. Uh, this is... See, sometimes you just get lucky with shapes. Other times I might take two or three different shapes and try them. This is from a mold I made of a vintage uh, timer knob. Uh, so that's another option that makes a decent foot. It doesn't fit quite as well, but... Maybe that could go on as a like a little toe that would stick out of this foot, just to make it more interesting. But we'll t we'll think about that more later.